Hello Internet! In this video we're going to be looking at Xamarin Workbooks. Uh, so in a previous video we looked at the new REPL features that are added to Visual Studio. Uh, Xamarin Workbooks is similar to that. It allows you to actually write code and execute it in line. Uh, so this is just a really quick example I did with just hello world. Uh, so you can write just basic C sharp code and it will just print it out for you. So you don't need to do anything crazy there. Uh, and the cool thing is since this supports Xamarin, uh, it's cross-platform, so this will work on Linux, it'll work on your Mac, it'll work on Windows, uh, and it's got some other cool features, uh, so you can actually use this to sort of like play around with like some Android stuff, uh, or some WPF, or whatever else you want. Uh, I'm going to stick to the console stuff in this video, because I'm still new to this, and I haven't been able to get any of the other ones working yet. Uh, I can't run, I can't launch the Android emulator, and my WPF thing crashed it. Uh, but this is still super cool, even with it's still fairly new, and there's still some bugs to it. But it's still really cool. So the way it works is there are these nodes, I think they're called, uh, and so cells. They're called cells. <clears throat> so the way these things work uh, is you can have a documentation cell, which I believe supports Markdown. Uh, so we can say, hello world example, or something like that. Uh, and then we could just document out what we want. Uh, so it's all markdown based. But you can document your thing, and then I could say, uh, just repeating what I did above. If you want to do hello world, you just type hello world in a console write line. And do that, and then you just hit control enter, and it will execute and show you the results. It's super simple. Uh, and then it actually creates another one, but we can actually go back here and edit this. Uh, so say I want to append something to this uh, and do, uh, let me actually make this a bit bigger. There, that's probably better. Uh, so if I want to just append this, I can actually go back and change this code. So it's not strictly like a REPL. Uh, you can actually create like these blocks, these cells. Uh, and those, they're just individual code blocks that can be executed in real time whenever. Uh, and then you can actually save this uh, with all the documentation or whatever. So you can actually document your code, write a tutorial in this, uh, and kind of walk somebody step by step through how to do something. And then you can actually do it. Uh, and I think that's pretty, pretty neat. So like if I want to change this so it's hello world on two lines, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but there you go. Uh, and it just goes and edits it. And I don't think, Okay, you do need semicolons. Why did it work with... Anyway, uh, I'm still figuring figuring out how all of this works. Uh, I believe it uses the Rosling compiler, but I don't know what version of .NET it's using. I don't think it's .NET 7, uh, and I haven't been able to figure out where that would be specified. Some of the documentation is a little bit sparse. A lot of the documentation seems to be in these uh, workbooks, uh, and I haven't just I just haven't gone through all of them yet. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool examples out on their website, and I'll post links in the description. So you can do like 3D stuff. Um, they've got examples of graphs and a bunch of other really cool features that you can do with this. But I just kind of wanted to show this off and say, hey, look, here's something fun. Uh, and if you don't have like LinkPad, which is something that does something similar to this, it's a good alternative. Uh, I personally, I think I prefer LinkPad more right now. But LinkPad won't work on your Mac or Linux or whatever. Uh, so if you are on a Mac, you're going to need something like this. Uh, so just as some other examples quickly before we end this, uh, if you want to do like some really quick like link, for example, we can build like the classic example I always go to. Build a quick integer array of just five numbers from one to five. Uh, and then let's just like say filter it. Uh, that's not how you do that. That's Java. <laughs> but we'll take like the value and say if the value is greater than two. So this should return three, four, five from that. Uh, and let's just execute that. So just hit enter. The cool thing, the thing that I really found interesting uh, is you can actually go and inspect this. Uh, so this is not just some basic shell. It does a bit more than that, which makes it really nice if you're trying to figure that out. Uh, so you can actually look and see how this is being uh, represented. 
So it looks like we can do some decimal uh, or octal, or sorry, that's not octal. That's just hex, but with uh, uh, in two bytes, three bytes, four bytes, two bytes, four bytes, four bytes, sorry, definitely four. Uh, anyway, getting confused, but you can do all of that stuff. You can adjust the formatting for each of these uh, and inspect the actual values, which is pretty neat. Uh, that was interesting. I guess you can change it that way too. Oh, so if I change it to the object members, I believe that's inspecting the list. Don't take any of this as uh, anything but just my speculations uh, because hey, that's all it is. But anyway, you can do this, let's say, do that, but let's only take one of them. So we should just get three from this. Uh, so if I run this, we'll just get our three back. Uh, and you can do whatever else you want. You can import things, you can do all of that. Uh, I, didn't, I don't really want to get into that, I just kind of want to introduce this so you guys have a chance to go and check it out yourselves. Uh, they have a bunch of examples, like I mentioned, and they're, it's pretty easy to get used to. Uh, but yeah, uh, what else should we do quickly? Loops, or like if you want to do just a basic like conditional, uh, let's create like just a quick variable. I set it equal to false. Well, that's not going to work. I guess actually we could test one thing. Uh, is there persistence? So if I is equal to, or if I actually should work, uh, console right line, hello world. Uh, let's put that there. Otherwise, let's just write out, uh, nope. <laughs> Sure, uh, and so if we execute this, we'll get no, but if I go up here and change this to true, I'm curious, so theoretically, we're gonna set i equal to true, but I'm curious if it will update this as well. Uh, so variables we set in, in cells above this, I'm curious if those values get persisted between cells, and they do. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is you saw I just ran this one, I ran this cell, uh, and that actually updated the the one below. Uh, so they do, uh, from my quick experimentation, they are connected. Uh, but yeah, that's, <clears throat> I guess that's uh, Xamarin Workbooks. There's not much to it. It's just, it, it's a quick way to write code and test it and also document it, which is neat. <laughs> so I thought I'd throw that out there. It's something, it's a cool tool and it's pro, it's, Super useful, if you, especially if you need something to play around with C-sharp in uh, and you don't have Visual Studio or something similar. Uh, it seems comparable to like the REPL that uh, Mono has, uh, and they've had that for a while. This one seems more useful for like documenting a new feature. Like say you want to walk somebody through Link, for example. You can do each of these steps iteratively. Uh, and since we now know that uh, the variables are persisted, you can actually kind of do something, uh, put some documentation about what it did, uh, do something else, put some more documentation, and just continue like modifying things and walking people through that, and you're good. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover here. It's not too much. It's super short. Uh, trying to keep this one short without as much rambling because uh, this is just a tool introduction. Uh, but if you want to see more of this kind of stuff or more with this tool specifically, let me know in the comments and I can certainly do that. Uh, but that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, internet.